Good morning everyone and welcome back to another day in the life video. We're heading off to clinic this morning starting the first day after making it 25% through our clinical experience number three. I'm excited to see how my patients did over the weekend, get a good update and start off the week well. It's nice and cold so I made myself a warm drink this morning just to keep myself going. But yeah, I'm excited for another week and I hope you all are too. Well, yesterday was a pretty solid day overall. I think some of the biggest things that I had happened were one, working with my regular rehab patient. I really got to working them pretty hard, especially because I know that they're getting close to some of their bigger goals and they started to sweat quite a bit. So I feel like they can definitely feel that I'm working them hard and they're getting a lot out of all of their sessions with me. The biggest thing today will be checking in on them to see if we went a bit too hard, if we need to back off and see how that kind of went. But I had another patient that's been another one of my regulars who I actually came around the corner to start treating with them. And it was incredible to see how much function they had with their sitter as they were just playing out in the hallway compared to especially when I had first seen them. But even before the weekend was just incredible to see that progress. And then finally, I took on an evaluation, which was a pretty basic ortho one that was a lot more acute care type, where I really just went through crutch training and got to do that with another therapist, and they thought that I did a very good job with it. So it was awesome that I was able to jump in with that, get kind of my feet dipped in in terms of doing evaluations again fully rather than just the part that I've been doing. So I'm hoping to have a bit more of that today and progress our patients even more. Well, since I really couldn't talk very well this morning, I'm re-recording what I was planning on saying on my walk over. But essentially, last night, my girlfriend had submitted her ERAS application. Huge congratulations to her and very proud of her. Looking forward to hearing about hopefully a bunch of interviews for her to have the opportunity to show how good of a medical student she is. But yesterday, talking about our kind of day, in the evening, it was celebrating my girlfriend and just doing some MPT studying. But during clinic, I had two great opportunities. The first of which was I got to actually guard someone with true hemiplegia for the first time after a uh, traumatic brain injury. So it was a very good hands-on experience for me to kind of know how to guard the knees so that they don't buckle and really just kind of navigate that on the go as well as I had my first opportunity to work with a patient truly seeing them do some functional things rather than just some passive interventions because they've been in and out of the OR since I've been here. So that was really awesome to get to see them. But outside of that, been doing great things with our rehab patient. Today, we're actually planning to go on an car out trip with them. So I am super excited to see how they do with that and hopefully achieve some goals along the way. Well, yesterday we had the opportunity to go on our outing with our rehab patient. It ended up going really well. They got to enjoy some time with family, doing some just normal everyday things, which I think was a huge step for both of them and the family, especially because their discharge date got moved up by basically a week. We were really advocating for that because they were doing so well and actually had that patient say some very, very nice words to a medical doctor who actually sought me out to make sure that I heard that feedback. I can talk about it more later, but I just have to get in and start work for the day. And here we are at the end of week number five. It is absolutely flying by. Yesterday, during a lunch meeting, I had the opportunity to go up to the new rehab floor that's being made on the Children's Hospital that I am currently at. So that was a really unique opportunity that I got to see. 
but in terms of my actual experience as a whole, finishing what I had spoke about on Thursday morning was the fact that with this patient that I've been working with on our rehab team for a while, they got their discharge date moved up because we were really trying to advocate for it because they were doing so well. And when the medical team was having the conversation with this patient, they actually told the physician that they really appreciated that I was pushing them the perfect amount, that I was really helping them achieve their goals and everything. And it was just a really awesome thing to have a physician come into the PT workroom and be like, hi, are you Kyle? Well, I just wanted to let you know that a patient said this and that you should keep up the good work because that's really awesome. So just one, having the patient willing to share that information with the medical team as a whole, and two, having another member of the medical team actually come and seek me out to provide that kind of feedback, especially when it's that really nice feedback to really help you continue on that track that you are working really hard to get your patients where you want them to was just really awesome. But in terms of what happened on Thursday as a whole, I think it was a lot of just good experiences to see a lot of the things that I haven't seen yet that, you know, you're told in PT school, oh, you know, when someone has a traumatic brain injury, they might be very impulsive and you have to be careful about what you're saying because if you say, let's stand up, they're going to stand up even if the context is something like, okay, next we're going to stand up, they're going to hear stand up and they're going to stand up and they may not be fully ready to be able to do that in terms of their physical ability. So being on guard at all times and really kind of being like, okay, let's try that again. Let's have you sit down, talk me through what you're going to do first. Let me know that you're ready. I'll let you know that I'm ready. And we kind of go from there. So that was something that was interesting to see as well as our friend from rehab. They got their cervical collar removed and getting to kind of see in person the actual impact that that does definitely have on their balance and everything just because it was stabilized now that it isn't we're integrating those head turns we're trying to do all of these other things and it you know increases the degrees of freedom that there are which makes it definitely a lot harder for them to continue on from the same point that they were with their balance. So we saw a little bit of a regression, but it was good getting to have that conversation with them and let them know that that is very normal and talk about why we're doing the things that we're doing. So it was another great day, another great week overall. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below, as well as check my link in the description for 20% off a Picmonic subscription. Feel free to use their five-day free trial to see if it's right for you. But I hope you all are enjoying my MPTE updates. We're getting closer and closer, almost within the 30 days of the exam, which is insane, but I'm going to keep posting those every week. Let me know if you have any feedback on them, on things you want me to add or things you want me to take away. But thank you all so much for watching. This has been KBDPT, and I'll see you all in the next video.